Hello everybody, welcome to a very special Cooking with Jackfruit, as is the first and most likely last episode. You may be wondering why I chose to cook with jackfruit, uh, a vegetarian meat replacement. Uh, part of it is because I ate the new Jack in the Box double chicken sandwich last night and I feel like I have some making up to do. Uh, second of all, it looked interesting, I just kind of wanted to try it out. So any of you meat eaters out there, this video is not for you. Just go ahead and click away. I'll wait for you to leave. Okay, so what we're going to do, uh, on the back of this package here, it says to stir on medium heat for five minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and set the grill here, uh, wait for it to heat up a little bit, and we'll be right back. Uh, so my burner is smoking a little bit, um, so I'd recommend anytime you're going to cook, clean your burner. Uh, I did clean my stove but I probably could have taken the burner out, you know, washed it a little bit. So that's just kind of extra step, but you know, this is the, this is the lazy man's jackfruit sandwich. So, um, another option is to pop this in the microwave for one to two minutes, but I kind of want to do, um, kind of want to go a little bit more, uh, more effort, you know, it's the lazy man, but it's five minutes in the skill. I still think that's pretty, you know, easy. So, uh, as soon as this stops smoking uh, and this gets a little hotter, uh, it's getting pretty close. Um, so I'm going to pop this open, give a little sniff. Ooh, first of all, based on looks, it does not look great. This smells good, it's sweet. Uh, but I'll show you, hopefully you can see there. Uh, kind of looks gross. Uh, but as I said, it smells pretty good. Um, skill is pretty hot. It doesn't say to put any oil or anything in there, so it's not going to. It's a little wet inside, so maybe there's already some natural oils. Just gonna, uh, always have your tongs nearby to uh, get any stragglers out. Uh, now I'm guessing with this recipe, you can buy just like pre-owned, pre-owned, uh, pre-cooked pulled pork or chicken in a bag as well and get similar results. So I know I said earlier, I was kind of joking around. This isn't just for, uh, this isn't just for vegetarians. You can plop any kind of cooked pulled pork, uh, whatever, uh, into a pan and probably get similar results. So, um, grab your... Uh, barbecue smoky meat or fruit of choice, pop it in the skillet and uh, cook with me. I did clean my stove so I'm just going to throw these back in. It looks surprisingly like pork or chicken. That's kind of what drew me to this because it, it looks like meat. Um, I'll read the ingredients for those of you that are interested. Uh, we have young jackfruit, opposed to old jackfruit, so a nice, tender, young, it's good to know. Crushed tomatoes, uh, onion, water, organic brown sugar, sunflower oil, garlic, tomato paste, vinegar, salt, tamarind paste, pineapple juice, concentrate, cornstarch, garlic powder, onion powder, dry mustard, smoke flavor, mesquite smoke flavor, and potato maltodextrin is what makes that up. Black pepper, chili powder, and thyme. So, pretty good. It sounds good. I can pronounce most of the ingredients. You know, it's always a plus. Uh, and honestly, that smells good. That smells really good. Now, I'm guessing it's giving off a meaty smell, because uh, to me it just smells good. But we have basil here. Basil, come here. Uh, basil wants some. So, I'm going to have to, well, there's the, all the seasonings in it, so I'm not going to give them any anyway. But I, I am interested to see if uh, dogs are able to eat jackfruit unseasoned. So, excuse me, got some cooking to do. Okay, we're cooking up, getting those good smells going. I'm gonna wash my hands because I touched my dog. Uh, at this point, I got like two minutes left. So I'm gonna just warm my buns. Uh, originally, I didn't have buns, I just bought the package, uh, my loving girlfriend went out to the store to pick these up, so thank you. Uh, usually I would do this in a toaster. 
but I don't actually own a toaster. So I'm going to just pop these in the microwave uh, just to warm them up. Give them just a good 30 minutes, crisp them up. Mmm, look at that jackfruit. Oh yeah. See how, what I mean? It, it has a very meat-like appearance. Very intrigued on how this is going to taste. We'll get a nice HD shot of me getting in the microwave here. Um, those buns are a little warm. I'm going to take this water cup out here. Pro tip, put a cup of water in your microwave if you want to um, moisten things up when you reheat them. I'm going to give these probably another 30 seconds. Turn the heat off. Get these bad boys out. They're just warmed, yeah. Ideally, you would want to toast your buns in a toaster. Um, but I don't have one again, so. You gotta do what you gotta do with what you got. Okay, these buns are kind of small. Gotta put a little happy helping on there. It's at the top. This looks like this would probably do like three sandwiches, depending on the size of your buns. Now, the package does show the sandwich with some pickles and the coleslaw on the bottom. I am opting out of the coleslaw, but I did get pickles. Ugh. Oh, these are wait, wait, what else? These are pickle chips, but a full pickle snuck on through. Huh. I'll use him. He went through all that effort to get here, so. All right, so if you look at that, yummy yum. Uh, my bun looks a little weird because I microwaved it, I think, and there was some moisture on there. Uh, so probably wouldn't do that again. I would rather just throw them in the pan beforehand and toast them up. Uh, but here we go. Okay, so here we go. Uh, it smells like a pulled pork uh, sandwich. I'm just going to get a good bite, and uh, here we go. It's really hot. Okay, so that felt like plastic. Taste-wise, it's really good. Um, texture, I'm going to go in again. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. Um... I don't like this little plasticky bit. That wasn't very fun to bite into, but otherwise it looks like a like a seed pod coating or something. I don't know. All in all, it's pretty good. Um, I would not say that it's close to meat in terms of flavor, um, but it definitely has that barbecue taste. So yeah, I mean, all in all, I'd eat it again. Um, so I guess that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this parody video and want to see other uh, parodies or commentaries on my channel, please subscribe, uh, like the video if you did enjoy, and I consider trying this. Honestly, um, in all seriousness, vegan food is worth a shot. Some of it's pretty good. Um, you know, to save the plan a little bit, you know, like I said, I had two chicken patties in one sandwich last night from Jack in the Box, so just kind of trying to offset things a little bit there. I don't even know if this still even makes up for that. Um, but yeah. I guess that's it. Hi. But I can't do this. I cannot do this. Literally, just please. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just fucking do it. I want it to be good. It's not gonna be good. He's not good. What does it fucking matter?